Hello awesome people! I hope you're having an amazing day today. Today we're taking a look at the 20th and final book in the third series of the Lone Wolf series by Joe Dever called The Curse of Nar or Nar. I don't know how you are going to pronounce it. I'm not going to judge you too much. I just pronounce it Nar. Uh, so basically this is the final book and it has sort of the swan song den of you as a character that was introduced a long time ago years and years ago in a book book number one called flight from the dark that was published in the mid 80s uh, and then this book series goes up to book 29 up through the late 90s and then the game book sales sort of died down so the last few books weren't published he was intending to end the series at 32 um but later on he has gone back there's also a hardcover uh collector's edition version of this um and this book is also for free online as a millennial gift for his fans. Joe Dever gave all of these things to his fans for online. So I just read this again online uh, for the second time. I haven't read it other than, other than that. It's, it's something that I rarely am in the mood uh, for reading and I knock out 20 books, right? I normally start from the series. And I usually do this series about every six or seven years and I'm in the mood to go back and read it. And I read it on Project A Online, which I'll link you to in the comments below. Uh, and then in... Uh, as a reminder, uh, this game book series was again was was for free, and so you don't have to do any additional wear and tear on the soft cover or even the hard cover version in the collector's edition. Uh, that also adds an additional adventure to it, so there's a re reason to buy it in case you're somebody who's a collector, uh, which is really nice. I like to go back to it again every so often, and this is the first time I've gone back and reread it. Uh, just recently, the first five books were published in uh, reprints, if you will, of the collector's edition called Definitive Editions uh, that were also hardcover. I picked up those five books from Magnum Press, which is over in the UK, uh, and I read those for this channel, and I was still in the mood, so I just continued here and there uh, to knock out some more and some more and some more. Now we're 20 books into this series. Well, I read it last night. It took me about two hours uh, for you. Uh, this game book series is very different than other game book series and one of the best-selling ones of all time because it has the same story that's being told uh, from chapter to the chapter to chapter. You're keeping the same character, you're keeping the same place. Uh, you have a, you, are, you start with five skills in the first book, three skills in the second series, uh, and then four skills in this third series uh, that, 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 that has you leveling up to the next level. And then as you adventure and continue adventures, you gain another skill. As, so, you, so your character gets better and stronger over time and, and much more flexible. You keep your combat skill and your endurance points. You keep the gold that you find that you didn't spend or that you started with and didn't spend um, and then start with some more so you gain some more gold. Also, a key thing, keep all the items that you found in your previous adventures so you gain over time. Now this 20th adventure swan song is definitely sort of a a sort of heavy bin there. There are a lot of sections in this roughly two hour uh, read last night that say, hey, have you been to this place in a previous nod module? And then if you have, uh, because you've, you've read the whole series, uh, then you are rewarded with somebody that you've already met or a place that you've already not seen, right? these sorts of things. Uh, so the key sort of bad thing that's happening here, at the end of the previous book, Wolf Spain, which I've already reviewed for you, uh, you are told, you find out that the Moonstone, the most powerful artifact that was ever created by people, um, is has been captured by uh, the evil god Nar, uh, and has been using it to create shadow gates and atta launching attacks over the last few books uh, that you've been shutting down. So, no so, so now you know what's actually happening, right? So now you're going to go back to the big bad a throne room and a, a god's throne room on his home plane and take out and, and bring back the moonstone right and, and that's that's sort of your goal right uh, and so forth so so that's your key goal so, so now you're going to head back there to to this key place uh, you're going to find out when you arrive that you're in one of a, you're in a small section of, and then you have to find your way out and you also find out from this book that you took with you exactly what, what what's going to happen uh, as and then as you arrive in each place new things are going to happen I keep my reviews spoiler free, so I'm not going to tell you exactly what happens or who uh, or what's going to wind up happening at the end, those sorts of things. But that's sort of the key plot that you learn both at the end of the previous novel and in the first like 10 pages, or I'm sorry, not 10 pages, 10, 10 minutes rather, of reading this novel. And then you're jumping out there uh, and trying to head to the evil plane. You're doing a lot of plane hopping in the, in, in the last five or six books, and it's not that great. I didn't like the one plane hopping story that you did in the previous uh, two series in book 11, The Prisoner of Time, I think it's kind of weak. 
Um, and I feel like this one's also kind of weak too, but I get the send off, right? You're heading to the evil plane uh, of darkness to the, th and you're going to go to the throne room. We're definitely going to be noticed of the big bad in order to bring back the most powerful artifact just ever been created, right? So obviously, and, all, and then again, this is the swan song, right? If you will, of, the, of these three ventures which you've leveled up for. Uh, so there you are. You're a psychic ranger in this series. So for example, uh, you have uh, psychic abilities like the ability to attack mentally called Mind Blast, the ability to protect yourself from mental attacks called Mind Shield. And these things have different names and are more powerful as you level up like Psy, Psy Blast and then Kai Blast, Psy Shield and so forth. Uh, mind over matter in order to move things telekinetically. Um, and then you have the ability to sense things with six sense. And then you have ranger abilities like tracking that will become pathmanship. Uh, hunting, they'll become uh, gr hunt mastery, uh, and and camouflage, they'll become invisibility, right, and so forth. You'll also have the ability animal kinship, which will become animal control, and then animal mastery in this latest series. Uh, and then and then you also have the ability to cure yourself and to fight fight with weapons better than a normal person in weapon skill. So uh, and now now you have those those ten uh, things, but you also have two more. Kai alchemy, you have the ability to use you get from one of your friends, uh, the local brotherhood of torn a uh, level of magic that you've gained uh, and then magi magic from the from from elder from the elders uh and and the old ones uh that have their own form of magic too and thus you have incorporated magic into your training oh with this third series so uh that is the curse of nar or nar or nar I, I don't know i'm not going to judge you based on how you pronounce it this you know there's not like a pronunciation guide that comes with these things uh, but i'll go ahead and leave you to it uh, have you read this novel or or anything else by joe ever if so what did you think about it i would be more than happy uh, to engage you with it further about it in the comments below or talk about some of the spoilers if you like this review hey why not hit that subscribe button there's gonna be a lot more of these to follow and then finally i want to thank you so much for taking some time out of your day and investing it and watching my video we all have so many things that are happening in our lives and we're pulled in so many different directions so the fact that you spent this time with me is incredibly humbling and i appreciate it so thanks again and have an amazing day